This is going to be a basic three room house and starting with the block tool, I'm going to create a 256 by 256 by 128 room for our very first part of this process. Press F to invert the faces and now search for a player info start in the entity box so that way we can scale our building correctly. We're going to go ahead and make the uh, height of the ceiling 144 units as 128 seems to be a little bit short to start with. Quad slice this face to begin making our door. There's many different ways we can make a door. And with this method, I'm just going to go ahead and bevel that middle edge by pressing F and then sizing the door 56 units by 112 units as the height. Extrude the door frame eight units out for viz reasons as viz needs eight units in order to calculate minimum. And then we'll create the next room by going ahead and uh, extruding out the sides of the walls and then uh, the ceiling moving it up 144 units, extruding that upward as well with the transform tool. Selecting these walls edges, we're going to go ahead and create a loop cut by pressing V and then with that new cut, bevel it and extrude it out to 56 units. Select these three faces on the wall, press Shift X to go in the clip tool, make sure it keeps both sides and then cut at exactly 112 units. Same thing for this door frame, let's go ahead and extrude it out 8 units so that way we have uh, 8 unit thick walls. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just uh, create this next room over, this larger room. Same thing as we've done before, a little bit of extrusion, pulling it out from the sides, and then uh, making sure that we uh, try our best to keep this as proportional as possible. Ceiling height, once again, gets pushed up to uh, 144 units, as uh, this is uh, what I think is the optimal ceiling height for uh, larger rooms. You can go 128 units if you want to uh, for ceiling heights that are a little bit shorter. Going into 2D view, we can go ahead and make sure that all of our walls and our rooms are aligned up. This is going to be our entrance to our house, so once again, extrude out 8 units to make sure that Viz calculates in here correctly. And now using the 2D view, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a box around the perimeter of this house. Uh, it allows me to line it up a lot easier, whether it's the uh, outer walls or the ceiling. I want to make sure that, once again, it's 8 units thick. Now this next technique is going to be really helpful in lining up the interior walls and uh, the windows and door frames with the exterior as well. Let's go ahead and match the inside door frame with the outside where we want it to be cut. So I'm going to select the outside door frame and with the clipping tool shift X on the inside, I'm going to go ahead and line it up so that it begins to clip based on the boundaries that we see from the interior door frame. And with uh, the clipping tool, I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of clips. And selecting the door frame on the outside, I can delete that connecting the exterior and interior. Windows are going to be made in a very similar manner. I'm going to go ahead and select the two faces on the inside and the outside. And I'm going to go ahead and begin to create a frame using the clipping tool. Just line it up so that we have at least once again eight units on each side. So that way uh, we can keep it consistent with the patterns that we've had so far. Pressing the uh, space bar allows us to make multiple clips and uh, now I'm going to go ahead and select the two faces on the inside and outside, delete them, and then uh, select the frames, double clicking on it and then pressing the letter B to bridge all the edges together. Now, I did forget to delete the inside face of this door so I'm going to go ahead and do so, make sure that we complete the uh, interior and exterior access. For the roof of the house, we're going to go ahead and extrude the top face by about 16 units. And then uh, selecting two edges, make a loop cut so that we have an edge directly in the middle. Now I'm going to go ahead and extrude that top face one more time so that it creates these edges on the side that I can pull up uh, to be able to complete the frame of that roof. To create some of the overhang, I'm just going to select the faces and extrude them out about 16 units on each side of this roof so that way uh, the rainwater can go ahead and drip off the sides perfectly. Now trying to create the overhang on the uh, front faces and back faces of the house might be a little bit difficult because of the angle that they're in. No matter if it's local or world, it's not going to extrude correctly. Shift Q will go ahead and line up the plane to whatever surface I've clicked on and by doing so I can go ahead and extrude out the sides of the roofs so that they stay slanted. I'll do the same for the other side. I'll go ahead and uh, realign it so a shift Q and a click on the roof and select the faces and with the transform tool extrude it outwards. And uh, now that the grid has been angled aligned to the roof I can go ahead and return it to normal with alt shift Q. We're going to go ahead and add one more window to this so we're going to use a technique that we used earlier before selecting the faces on both sides and then the clipping tool we can go ahead and create uh, guidelines so that the cuts are made on both sides of the wall now, this doesn't have to be exact but i'm just going to keep consistent with the uh, eight unit frames and with the uh, faces selected on both sides deleting them and then selecting the edges by double clicking them pressing b to bridge we have now completed the exterior of our house 
Uh, the final touch is to go ahead and uh, find the dev hotspot tool. I like to use the 30 reflectivity for basics. And uh, double clicking on one of the faces, I'm going to press Alt T so that it applies all the hotspot surfaces to each and every individual face. I'm going to disable the grid so we can get a better view of our completed project. There's so many different techniques that you can use to build houses and buildings, but from the inside out, this is my preferred technique.